Hey, my YouTube family, what's going on? How are you? I hope your day is well. I hope you are having an amazing day. I hope you are having a good day, an awesome day. Listen, uh, before I go into what I want to go into, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to subscribe, like, and share. Come on, help a sister out. Subscribe, like, and share because what I'm getting ready to tell you People are going to they, they they're going to uh, 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 need to hear this right and, and and when you are encouraged it's a good thing to share uh, to someone else what you have got so they can be encouraged as well so I need you to hit that button like subscribe and share uh, uh, like subscribe and share all right so listen uh, what I want to share with you today is. Um, I was looking for a word for the day because I try to look for a word every day, guys, always to encourage me, to help me out throughout the day. And so um, my Bible app took me to uh, Psalms 24, I'm sorry, Psalms 27 and 4, okay, Psalms 27 and 4, and um what it says is one thing have I desire of the Lord. This is David talking. One thing have I desire of the Lord that will I seek after that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And what I love about this is that David is saying that there's one thing, one one thing that he desire of God, and that is uh, to be in the presence of God. How many of you desire to be in the presence of God? You know, uh, oftentimes we desire so many different things, right? So many different things that we desire from God. Uh, um, you know, we desire uh, material things, house and vehicles and um, a spouse and, you know, uh, increase finances. We desire all of these different things and there's nothing wrong with that. But what I love about about this uh, scripture and what I love about David is that he desires something spiritual and that's my question to you first is what are you desiring from God what is one thing that you're desiring from God that is spiritual nothing in the natural because in his word, he already said, he already told you, he made you a promise. He said, I should supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. He said, ask and that you shall receive. He said, uh, his word says that the Lord is my shepherd and that I shall not want. So all of your needs, right? All of your wants are already taken care of. You desire a spouse, God going to give it to you if that's what you want. You desire an increase, God is going to give you that. You desire a home, God is going to give you that. But my question to you is, what are you desiring spiritually? What are you desiring spiritually? And so here, David, he said, one thing, one thing that I desire. He didn't say two. He didn't say three. He said one thing. And I believe that this one thing was very important to him. He said, he said, uh, 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 one thing that I desire of the Lord that will I seek after. He said that I may, number one, he said, dwell in the house of the Lord and uh, all the days of my life. What is in the house of the Lord? God's presence. He said to behold the beauty of the Lord. The beauty of the Lord is to be in his presence. It's the presence of God. That's the beauty of the Lord. It's the presence of God. To inquire in his temple, once again, the presence of God. Can I tell you what, 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 what I, I believe, I just believe that the reason why David, he desired to be in the presence of God, because number one, it's just, it, it, God's presence is so significant, is very important. And let me tell you why, because in his presence, in God's presence, there is joy, there is peace, come on, there is uh, uh, love, come on, there is deliverance, there is healing, come on, uh, there, you, you in his presence, you can commune with God, come on, 
And so I believe that this is why this was so important to David right? His presence, God's presence was so important to David, uh, because it's so many different things, right? That can happen in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? So many different things that can happen in the presence of God. The Lord will speak to you if you are in his presence. Did you hear what I said? God will speak to you in his presence. What you've been waiting for for years, what you've been waiting for for months. Come on. I guarantee you. That if you get in God's presence, he will speak to you. Hallelujah. What you need uh, 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 to be healed for. Come on. I guarantee you that if you keep going in God's presence, he will heal you from that. Come on. He will heal you from sickness. He will heal you from hurt. Hallelujah. So can I tell you that, 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 that to desire, desire his presence. Desire his presence. Come on. Go into his presence. Come on. Abide in him. Remain in him. Remain in his presence. Don't go a day without getting into the presence of God. Because you don't want to miss nothing. Come on. I don't know about you, but I don't want to miss nothing that God has for me in his presence. Hallelujah. And how you can enter into his presence. Come on. You can worship. Worship God. Come on, worship God. When you worship God, you are setting the atmosphere. You are setting the atmosphere for his presence. Hallelujah. Come on. Another way um, to, 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 to enter into his presence is prayer. Come on. You got to make time for prayer. When you pray, come on, that is communication between you and God. Hallelujah. And you're setting the atmosphere. You're setting the atmosphere for God to speak right back to you. You're setting the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Come on, when you're in prayer, come on. Sometimes I know with me that sometimes when I go into prayer, it leads into praise or it leads into worship. But it is the presence of God. And so I just want to encourage you on today to stay in his presence. Come on, to desire. Come on, we got to be like David. We got to have a desire, a desire for the presence of God. All those other desires, the material desires, the worldly desires, come on. All those desires that you need, your needs, you know, God, he, he already said it. He said, I will supply that. So what you worried about that for? There's no need to worry about that. Come on. You want a spouse? You want to increase? Come on. He, he said, I, 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 look, I'm your shepherd and that you shall not want. He didn't say a need. He said want. So even your wants, come on, that's already taken care of. So because of your needs and your wants is already taken care of in the natural. Hallelujah. What about the spiritual? If we can just put our focus on getting into his presence, hallelujah, and not really pretty much like worrying about, you know, I, the, 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 the things um, in the natural and focus. If we could just seek ye first, hallelujah, the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, hallelujah. The Bible said that it would be everything else will be added unto you. So seeking him first, seeking him, uh, 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 getting into his presence. We got to be like David and we got to have the same desire that David had. And that is the presence of God. I told you what's in the presence of God. What's in the presence of God is healing. If you need healing, I challenge you on today to get into the presence of God. If you need joy, I challenge you, hallelujah, to get into the presence of God. If you need deliverance, whatever you're battling with, whatever addiction you have, whatever you're struggling with, hallelujah, I challenge you on today to get into the presence of God. Come on, if you want God to talk to you, if you need an answer, if you're looking for an answer, I, I challenge you to get into the presence of God. Whatever you need is in his presence. And it's real simple. It's just that simple. It's just that simple, guys. So I love you all. I just want to jump on here. And I just, because I'm encouraged, because that did something to me.
What I'm telling you all, I, I'm not just talking to you all, but I'm talking to myself as well. Hallelujah. It encouraged me and I just want to come on here and I'll hopefully, you know, that this word has encouraged somebody that's watching. I encourage you to get into the presence of God. Make time for the Lord. Make time for God. You know, it's amazing how we can make time for everything else. But when it comes down to God, we put him on the back burner. Not so. Not so. And you wonder why, you know, your faith is falling because you're not getting into his presence. You're wondering why you're feeling down, you know, depressed. All of these things are coming on you because you have to get into his presence. And if it don't work the first time, get into his, his presence again. Keep going. Keep seeking. Come on. That's why the Bible says abide in him. Come on, you got to remain in him. You got to stay there. You got to constantly go into his presence. All right. I love you all and be encouraged. And again, uh, this word is from Psalms, 20, uh, Psalms 27 and 4. Let's have the same desire that David had. And that is the presence of God. All right, y'all. I love you all. I hope this encouraged you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Share this word with somebody else. You may feel like you don't need it. But I guarantee you, if you keep sharing somebody, one out of ten people, that they're, they're going to need it. All right. I love you all. Uh, have a good day. And be encouraged and get into the presence of the Lord.